I'll always remember, and it was quite a few years ago, someone saying to me, oh, you're a ballet dancer. What do you do during the day? Of course, nowadays, I think people realise that ballet dancers are elite athletes. They need to rehearse and work on their stamina in order to prepare them for their main goal, their performance. in the studio that can almost be more daunting than the actual performance itself because your peers are sitting all around you can see exactly what they're thinking and feel it as well of this rehearsal process is devoted to who I call my gals, our wonderful ladies of the Corps de Ballet. They take such pride in what they do. They'll be the ones who ask to do it again. Let's get it right. And I think that's wonderful. When you take a rehearsal, you realise that each dancer can hear the music differently. And although you can give counts, it's a feeling of everybody moving together. Especially if it's one of the big classics, because obviously they have to be absolutely regimented so that they all move together. But of course, still remaining artistic and beautifully fluid in all their movement. Towards the latter stage of rehearsal, the final full calls in the studio, we'll also have important guests like the wonderful Sir Peter Wright, this can sometimes make people nervous, but actually, whenever Sir Peter's with us, he actually brings out the best in our dancers.
Peter in the studio with us is always really special, not only because of his words of wisdom. I just love watching every single member of the company just spellbound by everything he says. He still has such energy and enthusiasm. And I think above all, because he was our director for so many years, he really genuinely thinks that we're still part of his family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.